Making dinner in your slow cooker can be a great way to save yourself time and allow you to cook a nutritious dinner for your family. Plus, the house smells great. And now you can make slow cooker meals even easier by using pre-made sauces. And joining us today from the Jebson Slow Cooker Sauce Company is creator Susie Schwartz. Welcome. Hi, thank you so much great for having me. Great to have me. you here. So thank you're you. from our area. What part of town? O'Hara Township, okay. Lutz Chapel area. And so how did you come up with this idea? Because you were a, a psychologist. Is that right? Yes, that's right. But you know, I'm a mom <laughs> first and foremost, uh -huh. and I didn't realize that when you have kids, you become a cook. A big part of your job is making that's sure your kids point. eat healthy. And but I didn't want to spend all my time in the kitchen. At the same time, I'm pretty picky about what my kids eat. Mm -hmm. So I would often use the slow cooker, and the recipes that we have today are recipes I made for my family time and time again, and friends, and everybody loved it. Um, but it would take a while to prepare. Yeah, all um, the chopping seems the to chopping, take a lot of time. I kind of, I have, um, just for you to see, this is, you know, some of what goes into it in the morning is a lot of chopping, measuring, mm -hmm. and... Right, measuring all the herbs, and I see you got brown sugar, vinegar, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Exactly. And the slow cooker, you, you think of it as a convenience product, but right. really, a lot of the recipes are pretty cumbersome, especially if you want to make it from scratch and have that all-natural, right. homemade. Um, so often I would plan to do it, but I would run out of time and <laughs> be making lunch and, you know, how the yeah. mornings can be. Well, because you do have to do it in the morning, early. right? You want to set it ahead of time so then the meat stays in the refrigerator. Right. So um, as I was making the sauce for dinner one night, I said to my husband, I can't believe I can't find anything like this in the store. Mm -hmm. That's all natural. It's all in one jar. And so we decided we would just go for it and, and start our own slow cooker sauce company. So this kind of takes all that chopping and measuring and puts it in the jar for you so you don't have to do that? Exactly. It's all in there. Wow. It's all my homemade recipe. We spent a year developing it oh um, with a professional kitchen to make sure that it was still all natural. And um, a lot of people, when they taste it, say it tastes very homemade. Wonderful. So I feel like we did our job. So do you have different flavors right now? Or what kinds yes. do you have? Yes. If you'd like, I can show you. Yeah, let's see what you do um, with them. This is... As you can, these are boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Okay. Um, which I think do well in the slow cooker. Mm -hmm. To be honest, chicken was never my strong suit. I'd okay. always try to make sure it was cooked and then I, it would get too cooked. Uh -huh. But you can't, right. yeah, the slow cooker is very fail safe. Right, I do love that. Like, you know it's going to be cooked. You don't have to worry about you don't have to worry. or anything like that. So this is our Italian tomato pepper and herb sauce. Ooh, wow. And as you can see, it's full of all the vegetables that I would normally have chopped. Oh, they're big and nice and chunky, so you, yes. feel, you can see you're actually getting veggies. It's not just... Exactly. Uh, so if, you know, if you don't get around to any mm -hmm. side dishes, you've got all your vegetables in there. There's Great. onions, red pepper, green pepper. Oh, it smells good, too. I love that. Yeah, thank you. Do you need to mix it up, or either um, way no, it's fine? No, I... You I really it's can so hands free. Like I plop the meat in. I, plop, I mean, it's kind of ridiculous how easy it is. Oh I've discovered. Goodness. That's and great. I know. Make it for my kids this way, right out of the jar, because I know it's still all natural. Wonderful. It's gluten free. Yeah. No preservatives. Cool. Now this is a chuck roast. Okay. <clears throat> it's probably like a, about a three pound chuck roast. Uh huh. And again, just plunk it in there. This is the barbecue. This is this oh, is this actually is my first flavor. recipe. Okay. This is the original barbecue, and it's very kid friendly. It's not spicy. Not spicy it's okay. sweet. It is a lot and are there of onions. Some veggies in there too. It looks lots like? of chopped onions, tomatoes, mm. brown sugar. Oh, that smells good too. Yeah. Thanks. Yummy. So, how long do you let these cook then? <clears throat> um, if you if you're doing it in the morning, you can put it on low, cook it eight hours, okay. or whenever you get home. Great. Um, here, you got the finished product. I have the finished product here. to okay, show cool. you. Thank you. And then, can you do it on high also for the shorter time? Yes, for about okay. four hours on high. Okay. Which, oh, wow, to be honest, this. I kind of rely on that a lot. Now, uh -huh. here's, the, here's the chicken. Oh, doesn't that look delicious? Mm. And again, you saw the prep. I am not kidding you. That's all there is to it. Isn't it ridiculously easy? Yeah, yeah. There's nothing to measure. It is ridiculous. You can't, okay. you can't mess it up. And then how would you serve this yeah. one? Yeah, well, I'll show you if you excuse me. I'm okay, just going to yep. reach over here for a spoon. And I just have a bed of egg noodles. Okay. I like it on the egg noodles because mm -hmm. um, they kind of, you know, soak up the sauce. But again, I used the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Mm -hmm. You can use you know, whatever kind of meat you like. Okay. Um, but this way, especially with kids, I, you know, I don't have to worry if anybody's going to get a bone. And then, um, you know, you can see also in the sauce, there's lots of herbs and, yeah. you know, it's all in there. Look at how good that looks. Now, would you use the sauce on there too? Or 
Yes, I'll, um, the liquid because that looks delicious. Yes, to me, I the actually used a slotted spoon. Totally, yeah. Mm. And we'll just let that you know kind oh, of drizzle yeah. over, and you get all the veggies with it yeah. and the juices. Oh, that looks going delicious. To the all right, here I'll try that one. I'm gonna okay, try help yourself well, you to make that. The next one. So tell me what you the other one. What do you make with that? The beef this one. This one <clears throat> is this is a the chuck roast as you saw. Okay. And this one is in the uh, the chuck roast in with the barbecue sauce. Okay, right, right, right. Let me get rid of Yum. this. Mmm. Susie, this is delicious. Thank you. Mmm. And then I'll just show you, you know, what we can oh, do wow, is if you don't mind passing me a bun, I'll show you. Absolutely. You know, it's great to make sliders. Mm-hmm. This is just Here you go. all the, oh, wow, the that beef and so the good. onions, and it's very sweet. We once did a a food show and a little eight-year-old girl kept coming back for more and more. So the That's adults great. and the adults say it reminds me of something here. my mother would make. Yeah, and if you want to top it with any kind of coleslaw, you can. Mm -hmm. well, and I can show good. you some other applications. Yeah, while I'm eating, you tell me what else you've got. Different ideas for these same two um, exactly um, jars. Okay. Um, and it's so versatile. This is the beef in a uh, refrigerated pastry roll. Oh my! We actually had this for dinner last night with the chicken. Wow! My kids loved it. But that this is great. the beef. This is a brisket, my husband's favorite, just mm. the same barbecue sauce, but at the end I, I put a brisket in mm -hmm. and I slice it. This is a turkey sausage mm. that I did in the Italian. Wow. And this is a, um, a chuck roast in the Italian. Oh my goodness. These are all delicious. And those and are even from the... It is. In the spirit of New Year's <laughs> and Super Bowl time, um, I just made a little platter of, this is the, the barbecued beef that we made in some mushroom caps. These are... Uh, yeah little chicken puffs and these are little egg rolls made with beef and um, some um, wow. coleslaw. Oh my And goodness. I even have a vegetarian option in the Italian. I did tofu and portobello mushrooms over brown rice because some people, wow. you know, a lot of people yeah. don't like to eat meat. That is delicious. I love I love these sliders. Thank these you. These are really Thank yummy you. too. My goodness. And where are you selling the um, sauces right now? Right now we are very fortunate to be in all, all the Giant Eagles, mm -hmm. Community Market, McGinnis Sisters. Great. Uh, we have a website that we, my husband updates to show us where we're going next. Great. We've been very fortunate with a lot of local support. And you're going to be working on more sauces? You bet. I'm already at it. Wonderful. <laughs> well, congratulations, Susie. Thank you so Thanks much. For Thanks joining for having us. us. All right. If you like more information about Jebson sauces, wait, I meant to ask you, where's Jebson name oh, from? Oh, Jess Ben. Jess I'm ben. so glad you Jess asked. Ben. It's my kids. Jessica's my daughter. Ben is my son. Jess Ben. I love Jess it. Ben. Jess Ben. All right. More <laughs> about the Jess Ben sauces, visit our website, kdka.com slash ptl. And again, you can find them at Giant Eagle, McGinnis Sisters, and Community Markets in Pittsburgh.